The music and songs of Culver are woven into the hearts of alums, students, and faculty and staff alike as the soundtrack to unforgettable Culver days. And perhaps no song stirs memories so evocatively as the school's official song, titled appropriately enough, The Culver Song. But it wasn't always so. The tune's original title was the Culver Alumni March, and it was written by the famous father of a student and commander of E Company in the class of 1919, Herbert L. Clark. His father, also Herbert L., had departed a prestigious position as solo cornet player with the legendary band leader John Philip Sousa to become a world-famous band leader in his own right. The elder Clark was asked to write a school song, which he did, dedicating it to the class of 1919. The band leader's wife wrote an initial verse for the music, and a contest was held during the 1921-22 school year, just before the song was published, to create more lyrics. Cadet Franz Montgomery of Indiana won the contest, adding two verses to those of Mrs. Clark. Montgomery's first verse tells of entry to Culver, the second of graduation. The third verse by Mrs. Clark is in the spirit of a Culver alumni reflecting back. Culver's song catalog grew with the addition, during the 1923-24 school year, of a baccalaureate hymn, Ye Men of Culver. William J. O'Callaghan, a former Army band leader and Culver's band director from 1918 through 1938, and also the father of the future Mary Frances England, founding dean of the Culver Girls Academy, composed the song along with Richard Durrett, a voice teacher and choir leader in the early 1920s at Culver. A companion baccalaureate hymn, Culver Daughters Sing Thy Praise, was penned by O'Callaghan's daughter, Dean England herself, with music by Culver's then organist, Murray Foreman, debuting in 1978. The tune was amended in later years by past organist and Carolyn Orr, John Gowans. In 1996, another signature Culver song was added in honor of the 25th anniversary of the opening of the Culver Girls Academy. Treasured Memory was written by then Dean Gay Hurst, along with students Margie Robb and Jessica Blessinger, with Gowans composing the music. Perhaps not as well known to today's Culver students, the time-tested first-class song was written in 1938, ten years after its composer, Paul Barreda, became a member of the music department staff at Culver. He would serve for 10 more years before his untimely death. He composed the words and lyrics familiar to hundreds of cadets known as the First Class Song. Now the first salute is the famous Culver in Military Academy. Barreda wrote both the words and music to the piece, which floated over the airwaves nationwide during Final Ball in 1942, broadcast from the NBC radio studios in New York performed by legendary band leader Fred Waring's orchestra. Tonight, all night, is the occasion of the colorful final ball. Our greetings to the men of Culver Military Academy. Let us wander once more to the walk by the shore. Several of these compositions were amended through the years by Culver's 41-year band director, Colonel Edward Payson, who also wrote several of his own songs including the Woodcraft Marching Song and 1961 Band. 
Among the fight songs, still reverberating on and off the fields of Culver, is another O'Callaghan and Durrett joint composition, Fight, Fight, Fight. The popular football cheer was composed in 1925 at the request of one of the cadet cheerleaders. A year later, it was adopted by the University of Colorado, with the chorus changed from Fight Culver Down the Field to Fight CU Down the Field. To the tune of Cheer for Old Amherst is Cheer for Old Culver, a football fight song dating back to at least 1912. And as the years go by, on or off the field, treasured memories of Culver songs continue to thrill generations of Culver students and alumni, no matter where they roam.